What's up, yo? We got the blacked out 572 Black Ops. Ain't exactly going to be the first cuts with it, but I did I did make a few cuts of the house with it, and I hit a nail and just wrecked the chain on a piece of that sweet gum. So I got the chain all hand filed up. <clears throat> I put a new kit in the carburetor. This will be the first real test. So we're just gonna make some uh, just straight cuts. No dogger, just to get the, the uh, auto tune to set.
This was basically just a broke down, beat, beat down saw I bought off eBay. <clears throat> if y'all remember, I had the whole, a complete short block. Crank, bearings, seals, cases, all brand new. Even the carb tray was on it. It was on a deal I got on eBay. I needed a cylinder, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I had that whole short block. I tried to sell it, like, cheap. Had a couple nibblers, but nobody really bid on it. So, just set, instead of letting it set around, I started hunting for a broke down 572. Most of them had bad bottoms in, bottom ends, you know. Kind of their thing, the 5 Series Huskies. <clears throat> they usually, it's kind of their thing, beating the bottom end out of them. Bearings go out of them. Seals, auto-tune compensates, burn cylinders up. You know, stuff like that. Typical Hus Husky 5 Series problems. You know, I'd run across a couple, but a lot of them were really rough, and maybe some of them were missing parts already. And they still want a lot of money for them. Well, I finally come across this one, and I didn't get it cheap. I mean, I got it cheap, but I didn't. I still paid $400 for that saw, and it had a broke case. Yeah, some think, well, that's, that's too much money, but... I could get a thousand dollars out of the saw right now if I want to sell it. Maybe more. I would price it higher than that to begin with. It's a used saw, but it's also got a brand new bottom end in it, and it's ported now. So, if I decide to sell it, it it's worth a lot of money after I fix it. But I mean, honestly, the way it's set, the case was broke down here where the the, the recoil bolts on and I had a bolt twisted off up here from the recoil other than that the saw was fine when you think about 400 bucks you start adding up the price of parts shoot there's a crank in there those cranks go for 200 bucks used tank tanks are anywhere between 100 and 200 dollars for a new tank Heck, the mufflers, even the mufflers bring like 50, 60 bucks used. Carburetors, carburetors are 150, $200 new. So it, it don't sound so bad when you start pricing out the parts, but whatever. I didn't care about that. I just wanted to get a, get a running saw out of it. And I kind of like uh, the 5 Series. This is my favorite one. I've been in the 562, Mark 1s, Mark 2s, 592s, 572s. And I never messed with anything smaller. But this actually makes a really good running saw. I like how it runs. It could use a little more torque, but I haven't been able to get it out of them. Where I'm at right now, they're really, really stout saws. It's hard for me to take a $300 cylinder and start experimenting with. So, well, this all come, I mean, the only thing that was wrong was the cases. And now it's got a whole brand new bottom end, bearings and everything, crank, a new crank, everything, the whole complete bottom end was already assembled. New this bolt, this bolt of the exterior parts on it and went. So it was, you sat there and let it idle for about a minute before and it would quit. So I threw a kit in the carburetor and that seemed to take care of it. Sat down there and idled for like 10 minutes probably at the house. So I wanted to bring it back up here and I couldn't take it. I had to come and run it. But man, it runs good. <laughs>
small plugs on hand so it's got what it came with which seems to be running fine but you know probably wouldn't hurt all right later y'all